So here are the guidelines for how to apply sig figs to your calculations. And before I even start, let me just bring up one more crucial point. When you're doing a multi-step calculation, that is a calculation where you'll get several intermediate answers before you get to your final one, do not round off or apply significant figures until you get to your final answer. This is really important. Okay, so here are the rules. When you're multiplying or dividing, look for the number that you've used that has the least number of sig figs. You should then round your final answer to that number of sig figs. For instance, if we do the calculation 16.35 grams divided by 7.09 mils, the calculator gives me the answer 2.3060648, etc, etc. I'm going to write that down to five or six decimal places. I'm going to leave some dots after it to show that it continues on. But I know that my final answer can't possibly be that accurate. I go back to the values that I used in the calculation. 16.35 has four sig figs and 7.09 has three sig figs. Of those, the three sig figs is the lower, so that is the number of sig figs that I should express my final answer to. So I round that number to 2.31 grams per mil. Now when you're adding and subtracting, the rule is slightly different. Rather than looking for the number with the fewest sig figs, you're looking for the number with the fewest decimal places. For instance, if I add 46.1 meters to 0.901 meters, the calculator tells me the answer is 47.001 meters. But 46.1 has only one decimal place. So my final answer must also be rounded to one decimal place. So the answer is 47.0 meters. And let me just remind you again, although I haven't done an example here, when you're doing multi-step calculations, wait until you have your absolutely final answer to round off, and then go back through all your calculation steps to find the value that limits your accuracy, and then you can round off accordingly.